It's Shelly Marie, and this is the Shelly Marie Show. I'm here to bring you messages of clarity from your angels and loved ones on the other side. I also want to help you develop your psychic skills so that you can answer the calling within your soul to know more, do more, and become more. I spent the last 20 years working with the angels as a way to channel my psychic gifts that brings clarity, healing, and wisdom to myself and others. It took me so long to come out of the spiritual closet, and I couldn't be happier doing what I do today, which is working with the angels, finding clarity and healing in my own life while I also help others. Today's show is about creating a circle of protection. If you listen to episode five and six, you will have learned about the four archangels of the cardinal directions, and we're going to create that circle of protection in a guided meditation. The reason we set up circles of protection or ground ourselves before psychic work is so that we, number one, are safe. And number two, so that we become an open channel to receive the messages that we are asking for. The spoken word is always sufficient to invoke your spiritual protection, or clear a room. Whenever you are fearful, just saying, angels, help me right now is sufficient. You can also call on your higher power, whatever you believe in, if it's God or Jesus, or maybe some other deity, just know that silently or aloud, when you call upon people or your higher powers from the spiritual world, they come in a moment's notice. Some of my favorite things to do when I am setting up my circle of protection is to burn sage, Palo Santo, sweet grass. I also light a candle every time. And you may know that I make the fearless angel candles that was given to me as an intuitive thing to do by Archangel Uriel. So I light one of those candles every time I do a protection circle or invocation. That is my soul's way of hooking up with the divine. And I'm bringing that light, the magic of the flame to purify myself and the space I'm working in. It is one of my favorite things to do as a spiritual practice. The other thing that I do is sometimes I will use salt around a room, but normally I will do that outside of my home. These are all practices that you can do to help cleanse your home and open yourself while you become a channel for the divine. And it will help you feel safe and create energy that you allow to come forward. Now, I don't bring anybody or any spirits into my body. That's something entirely different. This is invocation so that you will see, feel, or know the clarity of a situation. Have no doubt that the archangels are so powerful. They will lead you on a healing journey. They will help you with every situation in your life. When you do this work, you may also receive, as I have, messages from your loved ones on the other side. Sometimes gods and goddesses will appear as I have had happen while I was in yoga teacher training in 2012. Meditation and my yoga practice ended up bringing a lot of the gods and goddesses forward. It was an absolutely unexpected communication with the deities. I had to ask myself if this was okay, living here in California and not knowing so much about gods and goddesses. 
I wondered if it was safe and okay for me to receive their messages. However, they were right here on my yoga mat. I was feeling the presence. I was sensing the most beautiful feelings and messages of peace. And it really was an unexpected, magical interaction with the divine. And that was so long ago that I have since developed relationships with the gods and goddesses, and they help me on a daily basis. More about that in another podcast. If you are worried about pulling in dark energy, I want to share with you a little story about the time I saw dark energy on someone. The only time that I have seen a dark energy attachment was during the daylight. I witnessed dark smoke coming from a person's face, their eyes and their teeth. And this was not in a psychic reading. I was so scared that I immediately called on Archangel Michael, God and Jesus, everything I could think of. And the black smoke dissipated after a few seconds. I left the area and I went to my local spiritual store because I knew that the people there were equipped to understand and help me. I mean, how could I go to someone or a friend and say, I had just witnessed this dark entity in broad daylight, understanding that, you know, where I wouldn't be judged. So I go down to my local spiritual store, which was the mystic dream in Walnut Creek, California. They have since moved, but the two ladies there, I am forever grateful for because they helped me in the scariest time I have ever been in spiritually. I was not conducting a psychic reading. This had nothing to do with any of that. It had to do with my clairvoyance, giving me a warning that I was in the presence of someone who needed to not be involved with me anymore. That person had their own massive pain and influences that were not good for me. And for some reason, spirit showed me that. So when I went to the spiritual store, the two ladies there were rather alarmed and they helped me go through a few practices that involve sage calling on deities and really urged me not to be in that place or that situation where I would see that person again. I I'm sharing this because the reason we do protection is so that we don't pull negative entities into our body, which I don't believe is possible if you do not have the intention of doing so. There is dark energy and bad people in the world, and I have never seen or felt it come through my readings. I've been shown visions of some things that are not so good things in life, but nothing has ever come into my physical body or into the room or anything like that. So I share this story with you because it was something I did witness. And now I am sure it does exist. And this is a call for you to follow your intuition when you feel really fearful around someone or a certain place. One of the worst places for dark energy is a bar. Even if it's at a restaurant, a lot of people at the bars are there with a lot of deep emotional pain. And when you are under the influence, it just opens up your chakra system to pull in a lot of negative energy. So That being said, the protection spells or rituals, whatever you want to call them in a moment's notice, all you have to say internally is angels be with me now, protect me now. I command this space be cleared of all negative energy right now. Thank you. It is so 
I like to say thank you. It is so as a way for me to close out my invocation, meaning my my body, my spirit, my mind is open to receive what I just invocated. Let's get started with that circle of protection. My recommendation is that you sit comfortably somewhere. I hope you're not driving, but if you are, you can turn this off and do it later, or you can lie down. And now assuming that you are ready, sitting or lying, close your eyes and take a deep inhale and a deep exhale. Inhale again and exhale out. Inhale a third time and exhale out. Drop your shoulders. Open the front of your heart by lifting your chest toward the sky just a little bit. Lengthen the spine so that you become a channel for the divine. Visualize a golden cord coming high above your head, coming up from the sky beyond the clouds. See this golden cord coming down. It's a cord of light. Let it come into the crown of your head. See the gold light in the crown of the head. Let the golden light come down through the throat, through the chest area. Let it intertwine with your spine coming down through the torso and through the hips and through the legs. Let this golden cord connect with the earth. You are now tethered with a golden cord of angelic light that is full of clarity and magic. See this golden light expand the width of your body and then take it just beyond your body. And if you can expand it to the room you're in, see a golden cord expanding with white sparkles of light. Maybe you're seeing stars or glitter. Just imagine and feel the warmth and the magic of the golden light. Take another deep breath, inhale and exhale, lifting your heart once more. Archangel Uriel of the North, I call upon you for your magical ideas. Archangel Raphael of the East, I call upon you with your emerald green light. Archangel Michael of the South, I call upon you with your cobalt blue light. And Archangel Gabriel of the West, I call upon you with your coppered color light. Please create a circle of protection, of clarity, wisdom, and healing. Surround my physical body, my soul, and my home with your instantaneous magical clarity and protection right now. Thank you. It is so. Take another deep inhale and exhale. And then ask your angels, angels, what messages do you have for me right now? See, think, or know, or feel messages or images that come to you in this instantaneous seconds. Right after you do your invocation, you saw, felt, or thought of something. That is the gentle whispers of the answers of clarity. If you didn't see or feel anything, don't worry. Take another breath. Focus on your golden light again. Maybe visualize the colors. See a circle around you of gold, green, cobalt blue, and copper. These colors hold magical clarity and wisdom and they hold the healing properties of each angel as you visualize those colors however they appear to you maybe you're feeling the presence of a large protective angel which would be archangel michael 
if you're feeling really light um, and healthy, it's Archangel Raphael. Archangel Gabriel usually feels like he's about to make an announcement. I usually feel him to my left as a tall presence, and I always see his copper light sometimes also appearing as orange. And Uriel comes through as the magical candle flame with golden sparkles of instantaneous bright ideas. Just thinking of all of these elements of healing will bring them into your heart, mind, and soul, unlocking the essence of healing and clarity of each angel. See yourself surrounded in a circle of beautiful healing, light, that is bringing comfort, peace, and a knowing that will move you forward from whatever you're going through right now. Ask your angels again, angels, what messages do you have for me? See, feel, and know the images, thoughts, or feelings you felt. And again, angels, what messages do you have for me right now? See, feel, or know. Well, knowing that you have created a divine portal within your own soul to open up to these beautiful healing experiences with the angels, Knowing that you can create this circle at any time, you can re-listen to this. And to close out our circle, we take the golden light and all of the colors of light and bring them closer into our body. I like to bring them down in like as if they're closing into the center, into my heart, into the torso. Let the light come in, inward shining deep into the pit of your soul, absorbing the magic and the essence of healing. And as you let it dissipate, as it comes into your soul, take a deep breath, inhale and exhale, feeling the presence of the room, feeling your your body on whatever you're sitting on or laying on, wiggle your hands, your toes and turn your wrists start to wake the body up take another inhale and exhale and open your eyes you can do a variation of this practice at any time whatever you remember is sufficient just know that you are so capable of finding the clarity and pulling in the help and wisdom of the angelic realms. You have just worked with some of the wisest, most powerful archangels that I know of. These angels have led me through my darkest times and have helped me with every area of my life. They help me continue to move forward when I think I can't. They help me move forward with strength and grace. And they share these gifts freely with anyone who calls upon them. Thank you for listening today. Please reach out to me on social media or through my website, ShellyMarie.net or Instagram, ShellyMarie888, TikTok, ShellyMarie888. Let me know how you experienced calling on the angels.